Hello. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, guys. It is me again, guys. It is me again with another vlog. It is me again with another vlog. It is me again here with yet another vlog. Hello, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Gotta talk quiet because I'm in the neighborhood. Gotta talk quiet because I'm in the neighborhood. Hello, guys. Hi, sir. How are you doing? <laughs> Hello, guys. Hope you guys are staying blue. Hope you guys are having a blue-tastic week so far. Seize up, baby. Seize up. Hope you guys are staying blue. Hope you guys are having a blue-tastic week so far. Seize up, baby. Seize up. Right now, I'm not feeling that well, guys. Not gonna lie. Hope you guys are staying blue. Hope you guys are having a blue test week so far. Hope you guys are sharing it out your week. Hope you guys are running in out your week. Hope you guys are still snowing out your week. Seize up, baby. Seize up. Hope you guys are staying blue. Hope you guys have blue test week. Seize up, baby. Right now, I'm not feeling all that well, guys. I'm really not feeling that well, guys. I'm feeling very under the weather. Um, um, feeling under the weather, guys. Um, been trying to play FIFA. I've not really been been playing FIFA today much because I'm just super tired all the time, guys. I'm super sleepy all the time, so I've not been playing FIFA all, um, that much. You know what I'm saying? I've not been playing FIFA that much, guys. Love you guys so much. Um, not been playing FIFA all that much, guys. I've not been playing FIFA all that much, guys. Not been playing FIFA all that much, guys. Just been chilling, guys. Just been chilling. I've not been playing FIFA that much, guys. Love you guys so much. Hope you guys are staying blue. Hope you guys are having a blue-tastic week so far. Hope you guys are sharing in and out your week. Hope you guys are still snowing out your week. Hope you guys are running in and out your week. Seize up, baby. Seize up. Seize up, baby. Seize up. But, um... In today's video, guys, I have a lot to talk about. You guys know I always talk about football. Football is my favorite sport ever. I love football so much. Football is literally my favorite sport. Football is literally my life. There's nothing like football. Um, I was thinking about talking a little basketball with you guys sometimes. Because I also like the sport basketball. I was thinking about talking a little basketball with you guys sometime. Because this isn't just um, a Chelsea channel. It's primarily a Chelsea channel. And Chelsea is the most important thing to me. But this channel is also like a channel about Naruto. It's also a channel about my life. So I was going to talk a little basketball with you guys. I was going to talk a little basketball with you guys also. Not just football. I know it's CFC for Life channel. That's the name of the channel. But that's just the name of the channel. This channel is not like a 100% football channel. You know what I'm saying? This channel is a channel about stuff that I like. But football is my favorite thing ever. When it comes to football and basketball, trust me when I say this. Trust me when I say this. I love football one trillion times more than basketball. I cannot stress this enough. I love football 10 trillion times more than basketball. 
I love football 10 trillion times more than basketball, guys. I love football like 10 trillion times more than basketball. Football is 10 trillion times more of my sport than basketball is and will ever be. I love football 10 trillion times more than I love basketball. I love football 10 trillion times more than I love basketball. But I can talk basketball too. I also know basketball a lot. But listen, football is 7 trillion billion gazillion. Words can't express how much more I love football than basketball. To be honest with you, I don't really like basketball that much. I like basketball a little bit. I'm not a huge basketball fan. I'm 100% about football, guys. I'm about football, football, football. But this channel is a free channel. It's I talk mostly about Chelsea Football Club, but like I'll talk about other stuff too. I know the name of the channel will probably deceive most into thinking that this is purely a football channel and it's nothing else, but this is a channel about my life. This is a channel about Naruto. This is a channel about primarily Chelsea Football Club. Actually, it's, it's not even a channel. Chelsea is just my primary thing, that, which is why I make more videos about Chelsea than anything. You know what I'm saying, guys? Which is why I make more videos about Chelsea than anything, guys. But to be honest with you, this channel is a channel about my life. My life. And it's just that Chelsea is literally my life. I cannot stress this enough. Chelsea is my life to one trillion, gazillion, bazillion. God and Chelsea is my life. I cannot stress this enough, guys. God and Chelsea is my life. God and Chelsea is my life. I cannot stress this enough, guys. I really can't stress it enough, guys. God and Chelsea is my life. Which is why this channel, all you guys hear about is Chelsea and God. Well, Chelsea, you guys don't really hear about God. I can make like, what's it called? Maybe, maybe I should change the name of the channel to like, Koya Loves Chelsea Football Club or something like that. Hi, sir. How are you doing? Hey, how are you? I'm well. Thank you so much. So don't, don't, don't get it twisted, guys. This is not just, this is, this is, this is not a Chelsea channel through and through. Chelsea is just my life, so it's all Chelsea that I upload. But CFC for Life channel, what's it called? It's the name of it because I love Chelsea Football Club so much. But you know what I'm saying is, this is just like a normal channel, guys. But I just talk football mostly in this channel, you know what I'm saying, guys? So, so but don't worry, guys. Football is always going to be in this channel, guys, because I love football with all my heart. Football is 10 trillion times better than basketball, guys. Football is 10 trillion times. I don't even like basketball. Let me tell you, I don't even like basketball, really. I really don't like hoops that much. I don't really like basketball that much, guys. I don't like basketball that much. And I'm not gonna tell you guys like who, what YouTubers I listen to. Um, I'm gonna keep that between myself. <laughs> That's way way away from the subject. But trust me, guys. I don't even like basketball that much, guys. I don't even like basketball. I really don't like basketball. It's just that I know basketball. I know basketball, but I don't like basketball. I know basketball, but I don't like basketball. But yeah, this channel is mainly about football. Well, it's about my life, but football is my life, which is why I talk football so much in this channel. But I know what you guys would be thinking. Why is the name of the channel CFC for Life channel if this is about football? I mean, if it's not a channel 100% about football, well, that's because I love Chelsea Football Club with all my life. 
with all my heart and soul and Chelsea Football Club is my primary like thing in life like Chelsea Football Club is literally my life when I wake up I check Chelsea when I wake up it's about Chelsea Football Club because Chelsea Football Club is primarily my life Chelsea is literally my life guy I love Chelsea Football Club to death guy I love Chelsea Football Club to death but in today's video, I'm going to talk a little hoops. I'm going to talk a little basketball, guys. I'm going to talk about this particular player who played for West Virginia and who played for Alabama. Because I know basketball too, guys. I know basketball too. But, like, this channel is about everything. It's just that I'm a football guy through and through. You know what I'm saying? I love football through and through. So, I only, like, you know, freaking... <laughs> Everybody want to know, guys. Do any of you guys else also bite your nose? <laughs> By the way, please like, comment, subscribe. Before anything, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm begging you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. The rain is pouring down, guys. But I'm going to talk about this guy who played for West Virginia. By the way, I love football 10 trillion times, and I'm not even exaggerating. 10 trillion times more than basketball. I don't even like basketball. Let me tell you guys, I don't even like basketball. I just know about basketball. So, if you like basketball and you're in this channel, well, good for you. Good for you. Um, <laughs> if you like hoops and you know about this guy, then good for you. Because I'm about to, that's why I don't, I think I made one basketball video, a video about Mac McClung. He's at the Lakers now. He played two seasons at Georgetown, and then he went to Texas Tech, and now he's at the Lakers with LeBron James and Russell Westbrook and Anthony Davis. Lakers are probably the best basketball team in the world right now. <laughs> you see, I know basketball, but I don't really, I don't, listen guys, I don't even like basketball. I literally don't like basketball. Like, I like it a little bit, but I don't like it that much. Soccer is my passion. Football is my passion. Football is my passion. <laughs> Football is my passion. I said soccer because we're in America. But you guys know what I'm saying. Football is my passion. But let's talk about Beetle Bolden. Beetle Bolden is a player that I was going to talk about. He played at West Virginia um, I think three years he played at West Virginia. Then he went, he played at West Virginia maybe four years or three years. Four years or three years. Then he went to Alabama. And then after going to Alabama, he's now a pro now. He's not in the NBA. He's overseas. He's overseas or something like that, guys. Beetle Bolden is overseas. Um, what's it called? Beetle Bolden is overseas. And guys, I'm telling you guys, I love football so much better. And don't worry, football is always going to be in this channel because I love football 10 trillion times like the most in this life. <laughs> but I'm just talking about basketball because I feel like talking about basketball right now. And I know hoops. I know basketball. Beetle Bolden is such a great player for in basketball and i believe he's gonna go to the nba after one year of playing overseas after one year or maybe two years of playing hoops overseas he's going to the nba i'm surprised he didn't even go to the nba he's that good and by the way he followed me on social media <laughs> when i had my 1k i used to have 1k 1300 plus um followers on instagram guys by the way i had 1k 1300 followers then i deleted it stupidly i don't know why i deleted the instagram that i had but i deleted my instagram account guys and i really regret deleting my instagram account I really, really, really regret deleting my Instagram account. I d regret deleting my Instagram account, guys. But I had 1,300 plus followers on Instagram before. 
but now I do not. I regret deleting my Instagram so much. I seriously regret deleting my Instagram. I regret deleting it so very much, guys. But anyways, guys. Um Yeah, let's talk about Beetle Bolden. Beetle Bolden is such a great basketball player. He's a lefty. He's a point guard. He's a point guard. Beetle Bolden is a point guard. Beetle Bolden is a point guard. And I just want to say before I because um because I just want to clarify because I like people to know what I like and where I stand. Football is my life 100%. Football is my life 100%. I'm just talking about hoops right now. I'm talking about basketball right now because I feel like it. But football is literally my life 100%. Football is my life 100%. But here in America, what's it called? You know that basketball is like... So I picked up a little bit. I like basketball a little bit. I don't like basketball that much. I really don't like basketball that much. But I know about basketball. But I like it a little bit. And here in America, basketball is like the, the, what's it called? Basketball is literally the, basketball is literally the, the, what's it called? The peak in America. Like, this is where basketball is the peak. Just like in Europe, how football is the peak. Like, football sucks here, but not American football. <laughs> We've already been over that that joke. <laughs> the American football. But, yeah. Football. My football. Soccer. <laughs> is the peak. That's so funny. Football. Because football is also the peak here. But not my football. I'm talking about football. European football. Football is the peak in Europe. Football sucks hair not american football <laughs> that's so funny not american football because american football is the peak hair they call it football football american football here if you guys know what i'm saying but they've got football they got base they got american football they've got baseball they've got basketball they've got freaking tennis over here baseball and dominican republican they're the same like with sports like i think dominican republican and america are like really good at b baseball both but i think america is better at baseball so america primarily has the most sports but the most important sport and my favorite sport football is is my favorite sport football is you know you know what's it called is what was what i like the most football but let's talk about basketball a little bit let's talk about hoops a little bit beetle bolden is a west virginia slash alabama player like but what's it called he is such a great player he's he can handle the ball he doesn't do turnovers in pros, in the pros, he doesn't do turnovers as much. He did a little bit of turnovers when he was at, um, when he was in college. Hence why they put him a shooting guard. But, like, he doesn't do turnovers. He literally doesn't do turnovers at all. He did a little bit of turnovers when he was... He did a little bit of turnovers when he was in college, but he was still growing as a player. He, he, his hops are through the roof. His vertical is through the roof. He's super athletic. Beetle Bolden is super duper athletic. Beetle Bolden is very athletic, guys. Be Beetle Bolden is super athletic, guys. It's raining over here. It's raining like crazy. Beetle Bolden is super athletic. He can handle the ball. He can do through the legs, through the legs, um, dribble, dribble through the legs, dribble, dribble through the legs. Beetle Bolden can do dribble, dribble through the legs, dribble, dribble through the legs. He can do behind the back, taking the ball up the court, behind the back, taking the ball up the court, behind the back, taking the ball up the court. Um, he's in and out is very good. He learned his in and out during 
during what's it called during high school guys during high school so he didn't really have that much of a of a problem doing in and out because i watched him through and through he learned his in and out during high school guys beetle bowden learned his in and outs during high school guys so since he learned his in and outs during high school what happened was when he got to college he didn't really have he didn't really have that much of a problem he didn't really have that much of a problem doing his in and outs during, you know, college. So his in and outs have always been good. Beetle Bowden is one of the most profound in and out, has one of the most profound, had one of the most profound in and outs. And he had one of the most profound in and outs. And he had one of the most profound in and outs in... Beetle Bowden had one of the most profound, great, best in and out in, you know, in, in, in college history. His in and outs were so good. And he's a left hand. His right, and his right hand is so good. He can dribble the ball with his right hand. Beetle Bowden can dribble the ball with his right hand. Keep him, this guy followed me on Instagram. That's absolutely amazing. He's not overseas. He, he, he uh, his in and outs are so good. He played with Jordan McCabe. He's so much better than Jordan McCabe is. I'll talk about Jordan McCabe a little bit. But like Beetle Bowden is so much better than Jordan McCabe is. Beetle Bowden is so much better than Jordan McCabe is. Like I think he's a lot better than Jordan McCabe. I think McCabe might make the NBA. I, I think he might make the NBA. I'll talk about Jordan McCabe too. I'll talk a lot about Mike McGlone too. But Beetle Bowden's in and outs are so good. He can do great in and outs, guys. He's very athletic. Beetle Bowden's super duper athletic. His in and outs are so good, guys. It's from high school, he developed his in and outs from an early age at high school, guys. Um, I know basketball a lot. I just don't like it that much. But, like, Beetle Bowden's in and outs are super good, guys. He can do in and outs very, very, very well. Um, he did in and out in, in a jump shot a lot. He did in and outs in a jump shot a lot. Um, I think he was ready for pros after West Virginia, but he wanted to go to Alabama. You know, these players will always want to want to go to different places. He wanted to go to University of Alabama because University of Alabama, um, he, because colleges um, make you like more equipped for the game. Sometimes they don't want to go to pros because the people in pros are so much better, so much more athletic, so much stronger. They just know the game more. So he wanted to go to college before going into the league or going into the big leagues because he didn't go to the NBA yet. I don't know how he didn't go to the NBA. He's good enough to go to the NBA. But, hey. It's his decision, and he might have not just made the NBA, but he's going to the NBA, guys. Beetle Bowden is going to the NBA. He's that good of a player. Beetle Bowden is going to go to the league. He can work on his crossovers. He can really work on his crossovers. His crossovers can have work. He can literally work on his crossovers. His crossovers are kind of iffy. It's maybe that's why he didn't go to the league, because of his crossovers. He probably didn't go to the league because of his crossovers, guys. He probably did not go to the league because of his crossovers. But his in and outs are so good. And let me tell you, his in and outs can literally, can literally, like, juke any, like, it can break ankles, man. His in and outs can break ankles, yo. Beetle Bowden's in and outs can break ankles, yo. Beetle Bowden is such a great in and outer like <laughs> his in and outs can break ankles guys beetle bolden's in and outs can break ankles guys beetle bolden is so good at in and outs it's not even funny beetle bolden is so good at in and outs guys beetle bolden's in and outs are so good it's not even funny guys let me tell you, Beetle Bowden has some of the best in and outs there is, man. Beetle Bowden's in and outs are so good. Beetle Bowden's in and outs are so good, it's not even funny, guys. 
Beetle Bowden has a tremendous in and outs, man. But his crossovers, he's gonna have to work on his crossovers in the in the in the pros. He's gonna go to the NBA after this year. I'm telling you, he's gonna go to the NBA after this year and the year after. Um, or maybe he's gonna spend two years overseas. But he's going to the NBA. He's just that. He's just that good, guys. He's going to the NBA. I think he's better than. I think he's better than Jordan McCabe. He's better than Jordan McCabe for sure. Um, that's why he could Jordan McCabe would let me well, but Jordan McCabe was still, you know, let me let I'll tell you guys about it. Jordan McCabe was still like a sophomore and a freshman when Beetle Bolden started over him. You know what I'm saying? Um you know, Beetle Bolden, Beetle Bolden he's he's going to catch up to Javon Carter. You know who I'm talking about? Javon Carter, who was at West Virginia, who literally led the point guard role so well for West Virginia. He's going to catch up to him. Beetle Bolden is going to catch up to him. And I think Beetle Bolden, Beetle Bolden, Beetle Bolden is going to be like how Javon, like, I don't know if Vito Bolden's going to be better than Javon Carter. I think he might be better than Javon Carter. Vito Bolden might be better than Javon Carter. And the amazing thing about it is Vito Bolden is six foot tall. Vito Bolden is six foot tall, guys. Vito Bolden is six foot tall. Vito Bolden is six foot tall. That's very short, guys. But he's still making it because he's so good. His crossovers need a little bit of help. Beetle Bolden's crossovers need a little bit of help. His in and outs are so good. His floaters are all right. His floaters are okay. That's why he didn't make it to the league a little bit. His floaters were a little bit iffy. His crossovers were a little bit iffy. Beetle Bolden's crossovers and his floaters were a little bit iffy, guys. But his in and outs were so good. Beetle Bolden's in and outs are so good, it's not even funny, guys. He'll do in and out, in and out to get to the basket. I and mean, not to get to the basket, but, you know, to get up the court. Beetle Bolden's in and outs are so good. Beetle Bolden's in and outs are so good. But Beetle Bolden is going to the NBA, man. After this year of... After this year of overseas... Beetle Bolden is going to the NBA. Beetle Bolden is going to the NBA. Plain and simple, guys. Beetle Bolden is going to the league. Beetle Bolden is going to the league, guys. His in and outs are so good. His in and outs are so good, guys. His crossover, they need a little bit of work. His floaters, they need a little bit of work. And... Some people don't make it because, like, it's so hard to make it to the NBA. Like, in America, like, because this is everyone, this is primarily like a football channel. So, I'm telling you, Europeans, if you guys are interested a little bit about learning about basketball, in America, like, they, the basketball is super duper hard, like, to make it. But football, football is, is the hardest sport in the world. We all know that. Not American football, football. Like, that's the hardest sport in the world, football. We all know that. But, like, Beetle Bolden's in and outs are so good, it's not even funny. His in and outs are so good, guys. Beetle Bolden's in and outs are so good, it's not even funny. Beetle Bolden's in and outs are so good it's not even funny his crossovers need help his behind the backs are elite beetle bolden's behind the backs beetle bolden's behind the backs are elite beetle bolden's behind the backs are elite and by the way europe is getting good of basketball guys europe is getting good at basketball europe is getting good at basketball They've got trainers from America going to freaking Europe. Europe is getting good at basketball, so watch out. Real Madrid's basketball team is really good. Los Blancos' basketball team is really, really good. Los Blancos' basketball team is really, really good, guys. 
Real Madrid's basketball team, their basketball team. So don't think America is gonna 100% control basketball through and through. Europe is getting there. Europe is getting good at basketball. Maybe in the next 10 years, Europe is gonna be on the same level as America in basketball. Europe is getting better at basketball, guys. Europe is literally getting better at basketball. Europe is getting so much better at basketball. In the next 10 years, five years, Europe is gonna start, you know, it's gonna start, you know, pushing it in basketball. But for right now, America is the basketball country, basketball country. But anyway, yeah, Europe is getting good at basketball, guys. Europe is getting good at basketball. But anyway, another beautiful thing about him for six foot, he can play shooting guard, you guys. Beetle Bolden can play shooting guard. I'm so freaking honored that he followed me on Instagram, by the way. Beetle Bolden can play shooting guard. And it's just absolutely sensational. He can hurt you in so many dimensions. He can play shooting guard. He can play point guard. He can, he can dribble. Through, he can dribble really well and then pass the ball over to the corner and then someone will shoot a three. Like his three point shots is really really good. Yeah, his three point shots isn't like Stephen Curry. You know what I'm saying? His three point shot isn't like Stephen Curry or something like that. But like Beetle Bolden's three point shots, it can own you, man. Beetle Bolden's three-point shots, it can kill you, man. Like, not, not literally kill you because I don't, like, no. But you know what I'm saying. Beetle Bolden's three-point shots, it can hurt you. Beetle Bolden's three-point shots are so good with his left hand. Beetle Bolden can shoot threes for days, man. Beetle Bolden's three-point shots are so good. So he's definitely going to go to the league after overseas one year. After overseas one year. Maybe he needed one more year in college, but they couldn't do that. So he, he couldn't do that because he only had five years of eligibility. So now he has to go overseas. But after overseas, he's going to college because this is he went to overseas, I believe. Now, I'm not Beetle Bowden. I don't know 100 percent why he went overseas, but he went overseas because, in my opinion, from what I've seen, because I know basketball a lot. I know hoops a lot. He went overseas because he wanted because he he. He, 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 like, he didn't make the NBA, um, obviously, but actually, he had to go overseas. Let me, tr let me stop tripping. He, what I meant to say, he wanted to stay another year in college, but he couldn't. So he had to go overseas, and overseas is going to help him because overseas, at overseas, what, 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 what happens overseas is that, like, He's gonna freaking be able to. He's be able. He's gonna be able to train like he's training in college, and he's getting paid, so he can feed himself. If he wants a family, if he wants a kid, I'm not having kids, by the way. I'm never gonna have kids. I am never gonna have kids, and I'm not getting married <laughs> because of the marriage laws. I'm just gonna stay single, by the way. If you guys wanted to know, I'm just gonna stay single. I'm just going to stay single my whole life. I'm no I'm not going to stay single. I'm going to have a girlfriend, but I'm not getting married because of the laws, you know what I'm saying? Because of the marriage laws. <laughs> I'm not getting married. <laughs> and I'm and I'm not having kids. I'm not having kids my whole life of existence. I am not going to have kids at all. I am not going to have kids at all. I'm not going to have kids at all. I'm literally not going to have kids. I'm not going to have kids my whole life of existence. Koya is not going to have kids. I am not going to have kids. But he, he, if he, he, if he, because most people do have kids, most people do get married and stuff like that. He's going to want to take care. And he has a girlfriend, I believe. He's going to want to take care of his wife. He's going to want to take care of his future kids. So he's got a lot of money for playing overseas. He gets a lot of money for playing overseas. You know what I'm saying? He gets a good bit of money for playing overseas. 
he gets a lot of money for playing overseas. You know what I'm saying? But this overseas, yeah, because overseas is more deadly than college basketball. Some college teams are better than overseas teams. But um, I wouldn't say for the most part, but some overseas teams are better than college. I think college is better than overseas, but it's, it's, it's hard to say. Most, let me say most overseas teams are better than college teams. Most overseas teams are better than college teams. Obviously, NBA is much better than, than, NBA is much better than, you know, college. NBA is much better than college. But, um, and I work really hard on these videos, so please like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys are staying blue. Hope you guys are having a blue test week so far. Seize up, baby. Seize up. Chelsea football club for life. But, um, Beto Bolden, man, he can shoot the ball. His in and outs are good. If he works on his crossover, if he lives in the gym, and I know it's not easy. It's not easy, but if he works on his crossovers and he works on his floaters a lot, I could, and it's not easy for him to drive to the basket. It's not easy for him to drive to the hoop, guys. It's really, really, really hard for him to drive to the hoop. Needs to be doing his Mike and I drills because those Mike and I drills will help him. But like, if he works on all that stuff, then dang, it's gonna be scary, man. You know Chris Paul? <laughs> you know a guy named Chris Paul? can be like the left-handed Chris Paul even better because Chris Paul can't really play shooting guard that well in the pros but with years of experience Beetle Bowden will be able to play shooting guard <laughs> you know what I'm saying he's so good it's not even fun Beetle Bowden will be able to play shooting guard you know what I'm saying Beetle Bowden will be able to play shooting guard man Vito Bolden will be able to play shooting guard, man. The ex-West Virginia, ex-Alabama point guard. He's going to be able to play shooting guard, yo. He's going to be able to play shooting guard, yo. <laughs> he got a lot to learn, though. Like his crossovers, his floaters. You guys know I could have played. I'm not even going to talk about that right now. But I could have played in the NBA. I could have played Barclays Premier League, La Liga BBVA. Perfect, um, La Liga BVA, stuff like that. Syria. I could have played. I'm really good at basketball and soccer and football, I should say, not soccer. <laughs> not American football. But yeah, I'm really good at football and basketball. I could have played, but that's another story for another time. I'm really, really, really good at football. It's not even funny, guys. I'm super duper duper good at football, guys. I'm super duper duper good at football, guys. It's not even funny. I'm so good at football. It's not even funny, guys. I'm so good at football. It's not even funny, guys. I could have played. Yeah, that's how I know so much about football and basketball, guys. That's how I know so much about football and basketball. I could have played. I could have played. Honestly, I could have played, but anyways, yeah, Beetle Bowden, man, he can do fours, he can do three ball points, he can, he can, his handles are sick, nasty, you see that, that workout video he did with Trey Dooms, his handles are insane, guys, he can break ankles, Beetle Bowden can break ankles, with the ball, he is a magician, he can break ankles, man. Beetle Bolden can break ankles. Let me tell you, Beetle Bolden can break ankles, guys. Beetle Bolden can break ankles. Beetle Bolden can break ankles, guys. Beetle Bolden can break ankles, man. He can break ankles. His behind the back is so good. His forward behind the back, you know what I'm saying? Going forward, going forward, going forward. That's sick. His stand behind the back, that's sick. His stand behind the back, that's sick. He is an elite player. He is an elite player. And he's going to make the league. I'm telling you, man. Beetle Bolden is going to make the league. Not many people even know about him. He doesn't even have that much high of an Instagram following. But he followed me. I'm grateful he followed me. That's, that's pretty sick. But Beetle Bolden 
is an elite basketball player. Beetle Bolden is an elite basketball player, man. If he works on his floaters, because floaters are OP, especially if you're short. <laughs> like, floaters are OP. Actually, I don't know about especially if you're short. Floaters are OP regardless. Actually, if you're tall, floaters would probably be more OP. But Beetle Bolden, <laughs> yeah, I'm tripping. Floaters, <laughs> floaters are OP if you're short and tall. Let me tell you that right now. But Beetle Bolden is such a great player man beetle bolden is such a great player he can shoot he has floaters he has hand-eye coordination he has hand-eye coordination um <laughs> he has really good hand-eye coordination why you think man beetle bolden is something else man beetle bolden is something else man Beetle Bolden is something else, yo. Beetle Bolden is something else. He is something else, man. He is something else. He is something else, man. Beetle Bolden is something else. He can do all sorts of stuff with the basketball. He's also good at the spider drill, man. Not many people can do the spider drill that well. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Beetle Bolden is something else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> Beetle Bolden is something else, guys. <laughs> Beetle Bolden is something else, guys. Beetle Bolden is something else, guys. <laughs> Beetle Bolden is sick. <laughs> <laughs> Beetle Bolden is sick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whew. But yeah, Beetle Bolden is going to the NBA, man. From overseas, he's going to the NBA. I'm telling you that much. But anyways, let's go back to my love, my first passion. my Not my first, my only passion because you guys know I don't really like basketball that much. I just know about basketball. So might as well give my American people some, my American people some basketball, like some basketball content. And Europe is catching up to America with basketball too, guys. Europe is really catching up to America with basketball. Europe is getting there with basketball. But obviously, Europe, football is Europe's forever because America cannot possibly catch up. Africa and America cannot possibly catch up to Europe with bas with football. Um, yeah, Europe, is, the Brazilians and et cetera, they're, you know what I'm saying? They are Gentiles. <laughs> they're, 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 especially Europe. They, Spain and Germany, the, the two biggest Europe and football countries, they they have football for life. You know what I'm saying? They have football for life. But Europe is getting good at basketball, man. They're good and good at hoops. They've got coaches over there and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, Beetle Bowden is going to make the NBA, man. After his first year of overseas, he's going to the league. I'm telling you, he's going to the league. He's better than Jehovah Queenery. He's better than Jordan McCabe. He's better than jo Jehovah Queenery. You know, you guys know the Villanova, ex-Villanova guy. He played with Jehovah um, Queenery at Alabama, University of Alabama. He played with Jehovah Queenery. He played with Jehovah Quinry at University of Alabama. He's better than Jehovah Quinry, his ex teammate at University of Alabama. Jehovah played for Villanova and Alabama. I think if Jehovah, I know he didn't start his first two years at college, Jehovah Quinry, but he got to be more patient. I think if he stayed at Villanova University, that Jehovah Quinry. That Jehovah Quinry could have, you know, Jehovah Quinry could have, could have, could have made a name for himself. I I know he Jalupsi started over him at point guard role. He started over. He got the rock over Jehovah Quinry at point guard role. But you know what I'm saying, guys? Like, 
if Jehovah Quinn, if Jehovah Quinn stayed at Alabama, he could have made a name for himself. And Villanova is a better university for basketball, one of the best universities for basketball, Villanova University, by the way. An absolutely sensational basketball university, Villanova University. Villanova is an absolutely sensational university for basketball. Villanova is so good at basketball, Johnny. Villanova. Villanova will school you, man. They'll cross you over. Villanova will school you with hoops. Man, Villanova is so good at basketball. He could have learned a lot of stuff. Delupsy, I mean, not Delupsy. Um, freaking Jehovah Quinry. He could have learned a lot of stuff. But I believe Beetle Bowden's better than Jehovah Quinry. I believe that for sure. But Jehovah Quinry, he could have learned a lot of stuff for hoops, man. Jehovah Quinn really could have learned a lot of stuff. Jehovah Quinn, really, the guy who is an overtime and stuff like that, the guy who is an overtime, the guy who was a freaking overtime legend, did the over channel, overtime channel, um, cha um, the overtime channel challenge with freaking, did the overtime channel challenge, just like how Mac McClung did and all those star basketball players. Um, yeah, Jehovah Quinry, Jehovah Quinry could have done a job at Villanova University, but he decided to leave Villanova, but I understand he wanted game time, but if he stayed at Villanova, he could have learned some stuff, you know what I'm saying? He could have learned some stuff. I also heard he was pretty goofy. He was a goofy player. Like, he worked hard. Let, let me take that back. He wasn't that goofy. He was a hard worker. Jehovah Quinn was a hard worker. But since he wasn't getting as much game time as he wanted, he started goofing around a little bit more rather than staying focused. But it's tough out there. It's tough out there in these streets. But, yeah. The reason why I know so much football and basketball is because when I was young, I used to play football and basketball, and I was super good at them. I was super good at them. So I know all about football and basketball. I love football so much more. Football is my number one sport. But, yeah, Jehovah Quinry, man, he he should have stayed at Villanova, man. Villanova will school you, man. Villanova is so good at basketball. It's not even funny. Villanova is so good at basketball. Villanova is insane at basketball. Villanova will school you, man. Villanova is one of the great college basketball schools of all time. Villanova is one of the great college basketball, um, one of the great basketball schools of all time. Villanova is so good. Let me tell you, Villanova is, Villanova is insane. Villanova is insane. At Villanova, they eat, sleep, breathe basketball. They do workouts, they do bench presses, they do leg presses, they do squats. They do a lot of squats at Villanova. They do a bunch of squats at Villanova. That's how their vertical is so high. At Villanova, their vertical is very high. Like, Villanova is different, man. Villanova will hurt you. Villanova will hurt you. Villanova will hurt you, man. Villanova is so good at basketball. But anyways, Beetle Bowden, man, he's going pro, man. But anyways, football is my freaking love. <laughs> I love football so much more than I love basketball. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I should say soccer because I'm not talking about basketball. But you know what I'm saying? You guys know football as in soccer. Um, not American football, but you guys stay blue. You guys have a blue tastic week. You guys sharing it out your week. You guys susan out your week. You guys running it out your week. I'll talk a lot more about basketball, guys. I'll talk so much more about basketball soon, guys. So much more basketball videos are soon to come, guys. So much more basketball videos are soon to call come, guys. Um, seize up, baby. Seize up. Chelsea Wall Call for Life. You guys stay blue. You guys have a blue-tastic week. Seize up, baby. Seize up.